My friends, I just landed in North Carolina. I'm here to visit Duke University. Corey and Joshua are gonna be joining me. Here's the welcoming committee right here. <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> we made it on campus to Duke. Tomorrow is the day that we're doing all the things that we're here to do, but they, they want to get flying right. Wait, hold on. Are we allowed to fly on campus? Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? The students say it's okay. And they're seniors, right? You can you can trust a college senior. We do have designated flight sites where we are allowed to fly, like more freely. Is this a designated flying spot? Well, uh, uh <laughs> <laughs> there's a cut. plane and straight to a rip. That's how I like to start a trip. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, it was cool getting to meet these students that organized this whole thing. We're going to be spending all day tomorrow with Duke University's drone club. So we're going to meet a lot of students that are just as much of drone nerds as we are and just get to talk all things flying, multi-rotors, drones, FPV, hopefully get to do some flying, but I'm really excited about it. I, uh, I went to school for engineering and so to kind of be back in you know, the learning scenario and, and get to meet some some younger people that are jazzed about you know drones and, and engineering and building things and science, it's cool. So looking forward to tomorrow. I'm gonna get some sleep and then we'll get our day started. Good morning, we're getting our day started off. We're meeting up with everyone in the foundry which is the home of all of Duke's different like robotics labs and the, the drone lab. How crazy is this? Look at this giant, what is it, a double hexacopter? A dual, what is this thing called, what is this? My name is Martin Brook. I'm the advisor of the Duke AMA Club. So we have a pretty active group. Um, I teach classes around the space. And so we have a lot of students having a lot of fun.
What is this thing? All right, so this is the X Prize 12 rotor drone. So it's like a hexacopter, but it's like a X6 is what it's called. You've got stacked motors. Um, each one of these bad boys is like a like an agricultural motor meant for industrial use only, but we're using it for competition. The competition is to map survey the ocean floor. So the way we did it is we had this giant freaking drone and it's carrying a pod system and it pretty much drops off the pod and that pod carry has a giant line that sends a probe down into the like very depths of the ocean to start sonar mapping the floor. And then we pull the pod up, drop it in different spots, trying to do that as efficiently as possible. This is just crazy. I've never even seen anything like this. You can Except in, fly backwards. I can power loop it. <laughs> I don't think <laughs> We have come out to a private field that they've got behind Duke Forest. So we've got this whole area that's, I mean, I think they use it a lot for test flying some of the things that they build. Uh, we're getting an RC plane up in the air. We're getting some chasing in. I think there's a couple little tree dives out here. TV guys don't know what you're doing. You just gotta get one of these things and you gotta tape it to your hat. <laughs> I'm gonna teach him how to backwards dive. We're gonna get over top this opening where his okay. shoes are? Yeah. A lot backwards. All right, let's just do it. Listen to everything to? I tell you to do. It'll yeah, work okay, out. Okay, yeah. Come out. There it is! Oh! All right. It seems a lot harder than that. It's cool. It's, it's really cool. cool. All right, the uh, meet and greet thing in the lab this morning went great. Got to meet a ton of students that you know are interested in technology and drones, and you know they weren't even necessarily in the club, but you know they heard that the club was having us out there and uh, wanted to come, you know, learn what we do and learn more about drones. So um, that was great. And then you know going to the field, got to fly, chase some planes. Um, that was fun. But now, now we're back on campus, and they think they know of some places that we can. Uh, Get a little more proximity fun. So I guess Shaylin has actually reserved this area here to fly, which is great because look how pretty it is. What a beautiful garden. But obviously because it's a beautiful garden, there's some people in here. He's laying down the law, tell him to get the hell out. We gotta fly some drones. It's kind of bad because they're really them nice. Out. Really nice. Why'd you yeah. kick him out? Well, we have to rip that spot. There's a hole. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Keep on walking. Keep on walking. Alright, we're back at the lab and actually what we're doing is watching some uh, pre-released content. Um, the Rotor Riot amusement park episode, that 
we just watched the first cut of that. I am so psyched about this episode. By the time this vlog is out, that Road to Ride episode will have been out. I'm behind on the editing. So if you haven't already seen that episode, I'm already psyched with the first cut and I know it's only gonna get better. So make sure to check that out. But anyways, now we are checking out some of RC test flights upcoming videos. So again, just checking out some, some you know, initial edits and drafts, seeing what he's working on. If you're not familiar with RC test flight, He's got a huge channel where he does all sorts of, you know, crazy RC custom builds and experiments and things like that. So that was a cool added bonus of this trip was getting to meet him and all that stuff. So make sure to check out his channel. Look at the voltage and the battery is completely full. So I can fly this thing all day, even if it's partly cloudy. Which I'm spoiling your content. Wow. Come out. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Bye. 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 We're back home. Check out this new desk I got. This, love my new setup. We're, we're due for a office update tour at some point. But, but anyways, that was a great trip. It was, it was really cool to see like a top tier university doing so much in the drone space. I just I think that's such a great club to have because as you saw, they can do everything from sport flying, FPV freestyle, all the way to kind of advanced industrial drone development. De a drone that deploys a pod to, to scan the seafloor, like that's crazy. So there's such a broad spectrum of things that you can do with multi-rotors being used as a vehicle to capture interest and generate excitement. And that they, that they wanted to bring us out there and spend time with the students and help foster that excitement. It's kind of one of those moments that reminds me that the FPV sports, it's like a real thing. We're building a real thing here. And uh, you know, it's just getting started. And I just psyched, psyched for where all this is going. So college, I personally feel so lucky and fortunate to get to have an engineering degree. But in university is so expensive and there are so many ways that you can create a successful career for yourself that don't necessarily require a college education. If you are going to go to university, I think doing something like engineering is a really strong choice because it is so directly employable. I mean, I was able to go straight out of college into a very lucrative career in automotive engineering, do that for a few years, and then eventually pursue my passion, pursue the dream and uh, and start a new career doing like FPV drones and, and with Rotor Riot. So, I mean, that, that was kind of my path. I guess why I bring all this up is that if, if you're a young person going to university, I definitely encourage you to do extracurricular things like the drone club. So cool. I don't think my university had a drone club, but even if it did, I honestly didn't do as much like extra stuff as I should have. I mean, I did did a little bit of juggling club, but that that's pretty much it. And there there were robotics clubs, and there were things that I could have gotten into and and had an even more fulfilling experience. So um, so you should do that. If you're watching this channel, you're probably into drones, and so find out if your university has a drone club. And if it doesn't, maybe you could be the person to start it. Again. Not stuff that I did, but I kind of wish I had. So that's that's why I wanted to uh, wanted to bring all this up. But anyways, uh, thanks to Duke University for bringing Rotorad out to hang out with your club. I think that's an awesome group of students that you have seeing the genuine excitement for building things and science and engineering and of course flying. Who doesn't love flying? It's great to be around. It was cool to to go back to university and kind of be surrounded by that for a little bit. But like I said, we're back home, back to the grind. So stay tuned because more adventures are on the way. So I will see you again soon.